for those of you in a hurry, with this first shape selected, the forward slash key, then the X key, then again, the forward slash key. To learn what on earth I just did, please stick around. If not, catch you later. Selecting the second shape, let's remove the fill and stroke the normal way. So finding the properties panel, we set the fill to none and the stroke to none. Now that was pretty time consuming. Selecting the third shape, here in the tools panel, these icons represent the fill and the stroke. The fact that the stroke icon overlaps the fill icon shows that the stroke currently has focus. The forward slash key is located, at least on my keyboard, in the lower right corner next to the shift key. Tapping this key will set the color of the focused attribute to none, which I will do just now. So how do we switch focus to the fill? Well, we could come down here and click on it, but that's the long way. To toggle focus between the fill and the stroke, just press the X key. So now that the fill has focus, again, press the forward slash key, and it's now also set to none. So to sum up, press the forward slash key, to set whichever fill or stroke attribute has focus to none, then press the X key to toggle focus, then press the forward slash key again to set that attribute to none. Slash X slash. Selecting the last shape, ready, set, and done. I hope that helps. Catch you later.